Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Indian National Movement. Question number 1. Which one of the following Indian leaders was dismissed by the British from the Indian Civil Service? Option A. Satyendranath Tagore. Option B. Surendranath Banerjee. Option C. R.C. Dutt. Option D. Subhash Chandra Bose. The correct answer is Option B. Surendranath Banerjee. Surendranath Banerjee cleared the competitive examination in 1869 but was barred owing to a dispute over his exact age. After clearing the matter in the courts, Banerjee cleared the exam again in 1874 and was posted as an assistant magistrate in Silhat. Question number 2. The term imperial preference was applied to the Option A. Special privileges on British imports in India. Option B. Racial discrimination by the Britishers. Option C. Subordination of Indian interest to that of the British. Option D. Preference given to British political agents over Indian princes. The correct answer is Option A. Special privileges on British imports in India. Imperial preference, later Commonwealth preference was a proposed system of reciprocally leveled tariffs or free trade agreements between different dominions and colonies within the British Commonwealth of Nations. The prosperity and such practices were to promote the mutual prosperity, and thus unity, of allied imperial nations. Question number 3. The first venture of Gandhi in all India politics was the Option A. Non-cooperation movement. Option B. Role at Satyagraha. Option C. Champaran Movement. Option D. Dandi March. The correct answer is Option C. Champaran Movement. Champaran Movement was the first action of Gandhi on all India level. Satyagraha was to be launched on April 6, 1919. But after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, Gandhiji was alarmed by the atmosphere of violence and withdrew the movement on April 18, 1919. Question number 4. The Congress policy of pray and petition ultimately came to an end under the guidance of Option A. Arvind Ghosh Option B. Bal Gangadhar Tilak Option C. Lala Lajpat Rai Option D. Mahatma Gandhi The correct answer is Option B. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Bal Gangadhar Tilak describes the method of three P's, prayer, petition, and protest as political mendicancy. He propagated militancy and not mendicancy. Question number 5. In this instance, we could not play off the Mohammedans against the Hindus. To which one of the following events did this remark of HSN relate? Option A. Revolt of 1857. Option B. Champaran Satyagraha, 1917. Option C. Khilafat and Non-Cooperation Movement, 1919-22. Option D. August Movement of 1942. The correct answer is. Option C. Khilafat and Non-Cooperation Movement, 1919-22. Question number 6. Which one of the following is not a feature of the Government of India Act of 1935? Option A. Diarchy at the centre as well as in the provinces. Option B. A bicameral legislature. Option C. Provincial autonomy. Option D. An all. India Federation. The correct answer is. Option A. Diarchy at the centre as well as in the provinces. In the Act of 1935 Provincial Autonomy replaced Diarchy. The Gaya, 1919 provided for Diarchy at the centre as well as in the provinces. Question number 7. The Indian National Army, INA, came into existence in 1943 in. Option A. Japan. Option B. Burma. Option C. Singapore. Option D. Malaya. The correct answer is Option A. Japan. In Japan, Ayana came into existence in March 1942 under the leadership of Mohan Singh. 
The idea of INA was first conceived in Malaya. Question number 8. As an alternative to the partition of India, Gandhiji suggested to Mountbatten that he Option A. Postponed granting of independence. Option B. Invited Jinnah to form the government. Option C. Invited Nehru and Jinnah to form the government together. Option D. Invite the army to take over for some time. The correct answer is Option B. Invited Jinnah to form the government. Mountbatten's plan came into existence on June 3, 1947. Gandhiji suggested that he should invite Jinnah to form the government rather than the partition of India. Question number 9. The native state of Tripura became involved in the freedom movement early in the 20th century because Option A. The kings of Tripura were always anti-British. Option B. The Bengal revolutionaries took shelter in Tripura. Option C. The tribes of the state were fiercely freedom-loving. Option D. There were already some groups fighting against the King's Gib and its protector, the British. The correct answer is Option D. There were already some groups fighting against the King's Gib and its protector, the British. Question number 10. After returning from South Africa, Gandhiji launched his first successful Satyagraha in Option A. Chori, Chora. Option B. Dandi. Option C. Champaran. Option D. Bardoli. The correct answer is Option C. Champaran. Gandhiji returned from South Africa in 1915 and in 1917 he launched his first successful Satyagraha in Champaran in Bihar against the indigo planters at the request of Rajkumar Shukla. Question number 11. While delivering the presidential address, the Congress president who advocated the introduction of Roman script for the Hindi language was Option A. Mahatma Gandhi Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru Option C. Abdul Kalam Azad Option D. Subhash Chandra Bose The correct answer is Option D. Subhash Chandra Bose In 1938 Haripura session by Subhash Chandra Bose. Question number 12. At the time of partition of India, which one of the following provinces of British India came forward with a plan for a united and independent existence? Option A. Punjab. Option B. Assam. Option C. Bengal. Option D. Bihar. The correct answer is Option A. Punjab. Question number 13. The Balkan plan for fragmentation of India was the brainchild of Option A. W. Churchill Option B. M. A. Jinnah Option C. Lord Mountbatten Option D. V. P. Menon The correct answer is Option C. Lord Mountbatten Balkan plan, 1947, was the brainchild of Mountbatten this plan envisaged the transfer of power to separate provinces with Punjab and Bengal given the option to vote for partition of their provinces. The partitioned units thus formed will have the choice to join India or Pakistan or remaining independent. Question number 14. The Hunter Commission was appointed after the Option A. Black Hole Incident Option B. Jalia Bagh Massacre Option C. Uprising of 1857. Option D. Partition of Bengal. The correct answer is. Option B. Jalia Bagh Massacre. The Hunter Commission was appointed after the Jalia Bagh Massacre, the 13th of April 1919. A separate Hunter Commission, 1882-83, emphasized on primary and secondary education. Question number 15. Who among the following leaders proposed to adopt complete independence as the goal of the Congress in the Ahmedabad session of 1920? Option A. Abdul Kalam Azad. Option B. Hasrat Mohani. Option C. Jawajar Lal Nehru. Option D. Mohandas Karamachand Gandhi. The correct answer is. Option B. Hasrat Mohani. Question number 16. 
who among the following organized the famous Chittagong Armory Raid? Option A. Lakshmi Sahagal. Option B. Surya Sen. Option C. Batu Keshwar Datta. Option D. J. M. Sen Gupta. The correct answer is. Option B. Surya Sen. The raid was conducted in April 1930 by Surya Sen and involved 65 activists under the banner of the Indian Republican Army, Chetugong branch. Surya Sen was arrested in February 1933 and hanged in January 1934. Question number 17. A London branch of the All India Muslim League was established in 1908 under the presidency of Option A. Aga Khan. Option B. Amir Ali. Option C. Liaquat Ali Khan. Option D. M. A. Jinna. The correct answer is. Option B. Amir Ali. Sayyid Amir Ali established a branch of the league in London in 1908, supporting the same objectives. Question number 18. Who among the following was the president of the All India States People's Conference in 1939? Option A. Jaya Prakash Narayan. Option B. Sheikh Abdullah. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option D. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. The correct answer is. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. The All India States People's Conference was a political organization in India during the British Raj. The first session of the organization was held in Bombay in December 1927. Nehru was its president between 1935 to 1947. Question number 19. With reference to the period of the extremist nationalist movement in India with its spirit of Swadeshi, which one of the following statements is not correct? Option A. Liaquat Hussain led the Muslim peasants of Barisal in their agitation. Option B. In 1889. The scheme of national education was formulated by Satish Chandra Mukherjee. Option C. The Bengal National College was founded in 1906 with Arvind as the principal. Option D. Tagore preached the cult of Atma Sakti, the main plank of which was social and economic regeneration of the villages. The correct answer is. Option A. Liaquat Hussain led the Muslim peasants of Barisal in their agitation. Question number 20. With reference to the Indian freedom struggle, which one of the following statements is not correct? Option A. Hakim Ajmal Khan was one of the leaders to start a nationalist and militant Ahrar movement. Option B. When the Indian National Congress was formed, Sayyid Ahmad Khan opposed it. Option C. The All India Muslim League which was formed in 1906 vehemently opposed the partition of Bengal and separate electorates. Option D. Maulana Barkataullah and Maulana Obedullah Sindhi were among those who formed a provisional government of India in Kabul. The correct answer is. Option C. The All India Muslim League which was formed in 1906 vehemently opposed the partition of Bengal and separate electorates. The All India Muslim League was founded at Dhaka, now Dhaka, Bangladesh, in the Bengal Presidency, in 1906. It supported the partition of Bengal to create a majority of Muslims after the partition of the province. Question number 21. The real intention of the British for including the princely states in the Federal Union proposed by the India Act of 1935 was to Option A exercise more and direct political and administrative. Option B. Involve the princes actively in the administration of the colony. Option C. Finally effect the complete political and administrative take over of all the princely states by the British. Option D. Use the princes to counter, balance the anti-imperialist doctrines of the nationalist leaders. The correct answer is. Option D. Use the princes to counter, balance the anti-imperialist doctrines of the nationalist leaders. Question number 22. The President of Indian National Congress at the time of partition of India was. Option A. C. Raj Gopalachari. Option B. J. B. Kriplani. Option C. 
Jawaharlal Nehru. Option D. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. The correct answer is. Option B. J. B. Kriplani. Acharya J. B. Kriplani was the Indian National Congress President, November 1946 to December 1947. In 1946, the INC session was held at Meerut. Question number 23. During the Indian freedom struggle, the Khudai Khidmatgiz, also known as Red Shirts called for. Option A. The Union of Pakhtun Tribal Areas in North, West with the Afghanistan. Option B. The absorption of terrorist tactics and methods for terrorizing and finally ousting the colonial rulers. Option C. The adoption of communist revolution ideology for political and social reform. Option D. The Pathan regional nationalist unity and a struggle against colonialism. The correct answer is. Option D. The Pathan regional nationalist unity and a struggle against colonialism. Khudai Khidmatgars were organized by Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Frontier Gandhi. Khudai Khidmataga literally translates as the servants of God, represented a non-violent freedom struggle against the British Empire by the Pashtuns, also known as Pathans, Pakhtuns, or Afghans, of the Northwest Frontier Province. Question number 24. The last opportunity to avoid the partition of India was lost with the rejection of Option A. Crips Mission Option B. Raj Gopalachari Formula Option C. Cabinet Mission Option D. Waval Plan The correct answer is Option C. Cabinet Mission Cabinet Mission, 1946 was the last opportunity to avoid the partition of India with the formation of the interim government. But Muslim League rejected the plan even though they won 73 out of 78 seats in the interim government. They did not attend the first meeting of the Constituent Assembly on December 9, 1946. Question number 25. The members of the Constituent Assembly which drafted the Constitution of India were Option A nominated by the british parliament option b nominated by the governor general option c elected by the legislative assemblies of various province option d elected by the indian national congress and muslim league the correct answer is option c elected by the legislative assemblies of various province the members of the Constituent Assembly which drafted the Constitution of India were to be elected by provincial assemblies under the system of proportional representation. Question number 26. Who headed the interim cabinet formed in the year 1946? Option A. Rajendra Prasad. Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option C. Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Option D. Raj Gopalachari. The correct answer is Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru. An interim government was formed on Sept 2, 1946, as per the cabinet mission proposal. It was headed by Jawaharlal Nehru. Question number 27. The leader of the Bardoli Satyagraha, 1928, was Option A. Sardarva Bhai Patel. Option B. Mahatma Gandhi. Option C. Vithal Bhai J. Patel. Option D. Mahadev Desi. The correct answer is. Option A. Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. The Bardoli Satyagraha 1928, in the state of Gujarat, was led by Vallabh Bhai Patel. The women of Bardoli gave him the title of Sardar. Question number 28. With reference to the Indian freedom struggle, which one of the following statements is not correct? Option A. The role attacked aroused a wave of popular indignation and led to Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Option B. Subhash Chandra Bose formed the forward block. Option C. Bhagat Singh was one of the founders of Hindustan Republican Socialist Association. Option D. In 1931. The Congress session at Karachi opposed the Gandhi Owen Pact. The correct answer is Option D. In 1931, 
the Congress session at Karachi opposed the Gandhi Irwin Pact. In 1931, the Congress session at Karachi endorsed, not opposed, the Gandhi Irwin Pact. It presided over Vallabhai Patel. Question number 29. When Congress leaders condemned the Montague Chelmsford report, many moderated left the party to form the Option A. Swaraj Party. Option B. Indian Freedom Party. Option C. Independence Federation of India. Option D. Indian Liberal Federation. The correct answer is Option D. Indian Liberal Federation. When Congress leaders condemned the Montague Chelmsford Report, July 1918, many moderates led by Surendranath Banerjee left the party to form the Indian Liberal Federation in 1991. Question number 30. Which one of the following statements is correct? Option A. The Constituent Assembly of India was elected by the Provincial Assemblies in the year 1946. Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru, M. A. Jinnah and Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel were members of the Constituent Assembly of India. Option C. The first session of the Constituent Assembly of India was held in January 1947. Option D. The Constitution of India was adopted on 26 January 1950. The correct answer is Option A. The Constituent Assembly of India was elected by the Provincial Assemblies in the year 1946. The Constituent Assembly of India was held on December 9, 1946. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.